This week, New South Wales Rocketry Association held an altitude duration competition. Because water rockets were allowed, we decided to enter as well. The rules were simple. You scored one point for every second the rocket stayed in the air, and one point would be deducted for every foot you were away from 400 feet. We had some large parachute ready for the day, but due to the wind conditions, we decided to go with a smaller one to reduce drift. On the first flight, we tried a large chute deployment mechanism, but it deployed too early and the rocket only reached 301 feet. On the next flight, we switched back to our regular deployment mechanism and added some foam to the water. Two, one, go! This time the rocket flew a little too high at 506 feet. On the third flight, we wound the pressure back to 105 psi. And the rocket managed to hit 393 feet. This was close but with good competition from the pyro guys with light airframes and potentially long hang time, we had to have another go. There were a total of 18 flights in the competition. We flew the rocket again at 105 psi and this time the rocket went to 419 feet. Averaging the last two flights, we wound the pressure back just a little to 102 psi and tried again. The rocket reached 403 feet with a total flight time of 33.1 seconds for an overall winning score of 30.1. Tim had kindly donated a pair of prizes for the competition and so we chose the Fisher Space Pen. Congratulations also goes to David Head, who came second and got the 808 camera and SD card. We would like to thank New South Wales Rocketry Association for putting on this fun competition. <laughs>